The concepts of inside basis and outside basis and partnership taxation can be very confusing. Inside basis refers to the partnership's basis in its assets, whereas outside basis is a specific partner's basis in their partnership interest. Now, when a partnership first starts out, the total inside basis, which is the partnership's basis in all of its assets, if you took each of the assets that they had, cash, land, property and equipment, whatever, you added up the basis of each of those assets, that's the total inside basis, and then if you went to each partner and you added up all their outside bases, okay, the sum of the total inside basis and the total outside basis would be the same. Now, some things will happen throughout the context of the partnership's operations that will cause inside basis to no longer be equal to outside basis. And those things are, if a partner were to die, and I'll give you an example of that in a minute, but also if a new partner comes in and purchases a partnership interest from an existing partner. Also, if the partnership were to give cash or property, if it were to distribute that to a partner, OK, and then the inside basis of whatever is being distributed, let's say it's cash of fifty thousand okay, dollars is being distributed to a partner and that partner. And that's higher than that partner's outside basis. So if the partner's outside basis were ten thousand dollars and that partner was given fifty thousand dollars cash, then there's going to be a difference because the inside basis of the partnership went down by 50000 because the partnership gave away assets with a basis of 50000 So it goes down 50000 the inside basis. But the total outside basis only goes down by 10000 Why? Because this just goes to zero because a partner's outside basis cannot be negative. So this is an example of, so basically if you give, if you distribute assets with a basis that exceeds the outside basis to the partner, uh, then you're gonna have a difference between the total out inside basis and total outside basis of all the partners. Let's do a more in-depth example. Let's do the one where a partner dies. So let's say that Brooke and Michael, they're equal partners. They each have a 50% interest in a partnership. Uh, Brooke contributed $200,000 cash uh, in exchange for her partnership. Michael contributed land, and that land had a fair value of $200,000 and a basis of $50,000. Okay, so this is a basic setup. And now initially here, the partnership's basis in the cash is going to be $200,000. That's what it got from Brooke. And then its basis in the land is going to be $50,000 because that was the basis in the land to Michael. Okay, so the total inside basis for the partnership is two hundred fifty thousand initially. Okay, Brooks' outside basis is going to be two hundred thousand, and then Michael's outside basis is going to be fifty thousand. Okay, so if you were to add up the outside basis for each partner, you'd have a total outside basis of two hundred fifty thousand, and then again we had a total inside basis two fifty. So they're equal at the start of the partnership. Okay, the inside basis, the outside basis are equal. But then let's say Michael dies, tragic accident, and Nikki inherits his partnership interest. So Nikki's outside basis is going to be the fair value of Michael's partnership interest. So what is the fair value of it? Well, this partnership has uh, fair, they have assets, they have two hundred thousand of cash, and then they have land with a fair value of four hundred thousand. And Michael had a claim of fifty percent on that. So basically, you're, Nikki's getting fifty something uh, a partnership interest that's fifty percent, uh, and then this partnership has four hundred thousand of fair value of its assets. So Nikki's basically getting a partnership interest worth two hundred thousand dollars. Okay, now Michael's outside basis had just been fifty thousand, but Nikki's getting her base, her outside basis in the partnership interest she is receiving. Okay, by inheritance is going to be the fair value. So two hundred thousand is Nikki's outside basis. So now let's look, let's look and you see when Nikki comes in, so we have Nikki here, her outside basis is 200,000. Brooks' outside basis is 200,000. So the total outside basis, if you add up each partner's outside basis, 400,000. However, the inside basis to the partners has not changed, right? So the inside basis, we still have the cash at 200,000 and then the land at 50,000. So the total inside basis for the partnership is 250,000 and then the total outside basis is 450. So we have where the inside basis and the outside basis are not equal to each other.